My friend, you know, it was the father in law of Moshe Rabbi. Can you imagine? It was not a simple person, it was the father in law. Can you imagine? He drew his two daughters, they were married to big, big, big Tzadiki. Sipora, she was married to Moshe Rabbeinu, and Nitro had another daughter that she was married to El Azar, the son of Aaron and Can you imagine? That means here we're not, we're not talking about a simple person. Here we are talking about a big person. 
Imagine this problem. Just any tower to tower, just to tell you something about it. No one wanted to marry her. Because she was a bit addicted. She needed somebody, somebody like her. So imagine how much, how much she prayed to have somebody like her. She was a bit addicted. So she sent her the best of the Jews, Moshe Rabbi. That means that Sibra she was not a simple person. From where Sibra got that kind of education? From where? I mean, she was a medium. From where? Who talked to her about God? Where well, is her father? Pietro. He started already started to believe in Hashem. He thought that he believed on all kinds of gods that at that time people used to used to to bend to them. He thought he started already to think that there is only one. If there is only one, it's Hashem. So can you imagine? Dito, of course, from time to time we talk about the Jews, that they were slaves in Egypt. Because, by the way, you have to know that Dito, he was, he was, a, he was, a, he used, he, he, he was, a, he used to give advice to Paro. They were, Paro had three advisors. Dito, Bila, and Io. The three of them, they were advisors of, of Paro. And it was, when he saw what I was doing to the Jews, he was not happy. He started already to, to make his research. And of course, he was talking to his children. So his children, they become Tzatkaniot. The same, like Rahel and Leah and Rivka, they were born by parents that they were used to bend to idolatry, and they were some kind of, they were having prophetess. My friend, you can reach a high level if you think, Eshwana Nefesh, you think, if, if every Jew has time to live himself, time to think, what does she want from you? What do you do in this world? What, what is, what is it you purpose in here, you will get to the truth. And that's what it was it. It's not for nothing that it was he came from a long way to convert himself. Because how did it go? He started before the Jews. He left Egypt. How did it go? He was thinking a lot about the Judaism. So when he heard the big miracles that happened, that the sea split, so it was right away. He did not think twice. He decided to come. At that time, all the world, they made Teshuvah. The whole world, they said, Hashem Yimlok Ramabai. The whole world, they, said, they decided that there is only Hashem. But the only one who came, it was Yitro. The only one. Why about, why the others didn't come? I think you have to know one thing. When you see a lot of people, they do, they see miracles, and uh, they are impressed with what they saw. But after they become cold, this is their Sarah. They say it is wrong. They say when you see a person very, in a way, to do the Shabbat, so if they say, right, hey, is willing to lose a, a customer. So they say we do everything to make him forget, to make him call with Emuna. So he told, when he saw all those miracles that happened to the Jewish people in Egypt, in the sea, and then he was like everybody and press. By Hashem. But Amari came and he fight the Jews. So the people they, they, they said, well, if really God exists, why Amalek defeated the Jews? Why 
Hashem, he fainted, but all he did not faint Amalek. So that means that Amalek is stronger. So the people lost their demona on Hashem. But it's why he lose his demona. He drove what made him to come, to convert himself, if two things. The miracle of Kehat Yerson, that the sea split, and he saw that when you are hot in your emuna, you should not stop. You have to do something, otherwise you become cold there for the other people. This is the Sarah. The Sarah will do everything that he will not lose you. And this is why he is where he came. You think he thought he was a madman to give Sephora's daughter to Moshe Rabino, that he was a big sadik. He did never see in his life a woman, only to save Sephora from the hand of the shepherds. He did what he did to save her. You think he's because he's all they already started to believe in Hashem. And they were so happy that there is a man that he can marry his daughter in Sephora. Because Sephora is not dedicated. For whom Sephora is not dedicated? For her father. Because she learned, she heard her father talking about the Jewish people, about God. How he said, the more that power will keep Jews, and the more the Jewish people will multiply. Yes, my friend. Go Heshvan. Go Heshvan. Cashes. Think. My, my friend, one day, what it is Kippur about? Kippur is to think what I did and then to try to change my way of life. This is, I mean, when I, one day I, I tell a private story. I had a, you know, a quarrel with my wife. You know, it was a big fight. It was about 40 years ago. This was the, the, the first years of marriage. And uh, when well, really it was Kippur, and, and excuse me, Kippur came. So I went to the Yeshiva to Kippur, and I did eat my heart. I was angry, I said, I didn't, I didn't say, I'll save it my way. And then, when Kippur started, I said to myself, how can I say pardon to Hashem? But there is something. There is a problem. Me and my wife. I mean, I was going to give a lecture, but in the lecture, what's I going to say? Why well, today is people, you have to forgive, ba 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 I'm going to tell people, forgive uh, your friends, forgive to people who did bad things to you. But what about me and my wife? Maybe it's me. Fault. He started to feel. And I realized it was really my fault. This is special language. Special language is you think. If you don't think. So always you will we be as a blind person. So you know what I did? I went home and I said, sorry to my wife. And she was laughing, she said, ah, ah. You realize that it was your fault that said yes. Forgive me, I forgive you. This is Cheshwan Nefesh. You think, how you get Imuna? Imuna, when you hear something, it's not you hear it from one ear and they come out from the other ear. No. When you hear something, you have to keep it on you. How you keep it on you so it can give you a, a good impact? When you think about it, wow. Hashem, Hashem, Hashem. That was the Devereh. Always the Devereh, even when he had problems, the Devereh used to say, thank you to Hashem. How can you say thank you to Hashem for problems? When the Devereh had a shalom, first thought he had, Hashem will not give me problems for no reason. If he give me problems, because I've done something wrong. So I have to do Tishuba. So you think. So why thinking? Probably you reach the point that, yes, the Mara said, when you have a problem, you have to think why you have a problem. 
And if, if you thought and you saw that really uh, you did nothing wrong towards Hashem, so you have a problem. So then why I said, so what it is, what the solution? Well, maybe you did not start study Torah, you know? Maybe there is a mitzvah that you didn't do it. Well, God forbid you cannot accuse Hashem to, to hurt you for nothing. We saw a big mess last week. We saw a baby, three months old, fed in his head, two meters. For everybody, the baby died. For everybody, the baby died. And that all, of course, talking to his people, his parents, he said, well, maybe we did something. Maybe we did something. So I told the mother, Madam, take, take some commitment on you. She said, what? I said, stay out. Stay out. She looked at me. Stay out. It's hard. So now look. What, what's, what's more harder? To lose a baby or to do stay out? Of course, stay out. So take it. Oh Hashem. Nobody understands. They took the baby. Me. Hashem is more. Do you imagine? He fell a few meters in his head. He's only three months old. They went. At the beginning, the doctor they said, we have to wait. Maybe he's going to something bad is going to happen to him. Maybe he's going to die. Maybe it is, maybe it is, maybe it is. Oh Hashem, the baby opened his eyes and started to cry. And Oh Hashem, his way. Few hours later, he came home. He came back to home with a, with a, with good hands. Oh Hashem. So my friend, it all was not a, a crazy man. It's what he think. He saw a big miracle. The water split for the Jews. The Egyptians alone. There was no place where there is Abu Zara that it did not rock. He heard what happened in Egypt. The news came. The whole world did it show up. That was enough for Ito to come. Yes, but he wanted to come later. But suddenly he heard Amalek, a small nation, came to fight the Jews. It's a small story. There's nothing to be impressed about. Yeah, but he truly said, why this small tribe? Why is she didn't fight him? Why is she didn't fight the Egyptian? He did not fight this, uh, this Amalek. Ah, uh, and she didn't want to test the Jews. And she didn't want to test the Jews. What kind of test he wants to test, to test them? He wants to test them to, to understand. Hashem is not always the fighter. Sometimes you have to fight. Hashem will fight your enemies. But you eat Sarah, you are the fighter. You fight the Sarah. But the enemies are, the, the Sarah is more stronger than, than the enemies. So Hashem said, I will fight your enemies. And if you start fighting the Sarah, Amalek, I will help you to beat him. So that was it. He told He, he came. He came. He came, my friend. The parasha of Hitro, the parasha of Matan Torah, is the parasha of Hishman and Nefesh. If a parasha, how everyone should think, how to receive the Torah, how to be close to Hashem, how to fight the Ezra, how you can fight it alone, please Hashem will help you. This beautiful story of Hitro, it gives us an introduction how to prepare ourselves to receive the Torah. It's very important to know that when the Tsara he see you after Pesach, you full of imuna after Pesach. So Pesach is over. But don't forget, the most important to live during 
on year. Pesach. Pesach is not only on Pesach. Pesach is all year. How can we fit a feast? How can you do with uh, the, to fill Pesach the whole year? How? It's easy. It's easy. That's why we have the Torah. And thanks us to remember Pesach every day. If we do have to remember days to be Jews. So that means we are. <laughs> we are every day. We are out from Egypt. Every day we have to fight the Zara to give little to me. Every day there is the spirit of the sea. Every day we have problems. That Shem help us to go over this problem. And the Zara is every day as well, Amalek. So always, Hashem, there is Hashem, and there is Amalek. Always. Mehmet Hashem, Amalek, Dordo. That's what Hashem said. Amalek exists. I exist. So the fight against Amalek should be every generation. Don't forget, a man become very hot and become cold. They fight a man who wins the lotto. Wow, he's happy. But after he forgets, he's not going to be happy all the time. The same with Pesach. When Pesach, we're happy with Pesach. After Pesach, we're a bit, a little bit cold. We should not forget, this is Amalek. This is Amalek. Uh, what I may find, I saw people getting married, wow, preparing the, the wedding, everything was perfect, perfect, and uh, after the wedding, they got divorced. That's it. Feel it. Who is the Lord? Who is, who is on, on the attention that the Khatan had to the Kala, <coughs> or the Kala to the Khatan? What happened? Well, my friend, this is the problem. The problem can be, can exist. It exists. Always there is a Sarato, always next to it there is a Sarato. It's, it's a fact. Pesach, pay the word who talk. The mouth who talk. Torah, mitzvot. But don't forget this Amalek. That's what you to talk bad things. It's a fact. It's a fact. Oh, the Lord, Shahu Amimi Gazon. And I have to the whole world. They heard the milk present as she did. The whole world did the shema. But I said, become very, very cold. Yes, he drove. He didn't get cold. He had to be cold to marry. To marry his children. To pick Sadiqim. Yes, yeah. I saw a dream that uh, it was uh, not religion at all. No. And then he had a big accident with his wife. I want to see them. He told me, Rabbi Nabi, thank you, Hashem, for the miracle I have. Thank you, Hashem, thank you, Hashem, thank you, Hashem. So I told him, well, the only way to tell Hashem, it's uh, not to forget what happened to you. It's to the Torah. Do this for three years. And after, I did not see him for two years. When I saw him, he was very far away from religion. So the Easter, what happened? He went like that. Ah! Well, you see, my friend, the Sahara, the Amale, he the one who lose, lose a customer. When you see a miracle, when you see the hand of Hashem in your life, quick, take the opportunity, use it, go further. Pesa, come, Ali, go. Ichai, Ichai, for the way you will feel there. Of uh, of uh, of the uh, Sarah. You know, Pesach, the Torah said the first day of, of Pesach is a holiday, and the last day of Pesach is a holiday. Why? Why the first day, the last day? Because when you to the first day of Pesach, we are enthusiastic, we are happy, we are hot, we, we, we spend a lot of money for the Seder, and after we become cold. So I should give us this last day. To become warm again. And then we, we, we join the first day and the seventh day together. Ah, it's never paid above everything to carry on now for the rest of the year. It's so hard to have with him. I cannot, the bigger I said, 
في البيسح كي سي سو خاف في البيسح كي سي هو اللي وين في البيسح كي ليش ندير في البيسح كي سي سو خاف امين وي هاف تو اتاتش او هاند وي ذا هو اللي دونت فوريت ات ذيس بيبل as soon as the hack finished they pack up all the all the dishes this the dishes they forget yeah the next year now can you please on you i shall bless you and i pray to you to give you all of you rahmat al-sahab kayyum rayum bis dinistir